Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be back after being off for a month and not in the greatest conditions. I wanted to get on here really quickly to just welcome you guys back to my channel. I'm so excited to be back. I was eager to get back to doing videos for you guys and just being on camera and talking to you guys. So here we are. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a different video for today's video, so just a little warning. I'm gonna be talking about what has been going on, where I've been, what has happened, and why I was gone for so long in today's video. So it's gonna be a little bit of a different tutorial for you guys. I hope you guys don't mind, but I really thought it was important to share all this information with you guys. Also, also, a few changes on my channel. We are going to be switching it up from two videos a week to only one. I want to really focus on my quality and bringing out good videos for you guys to watch. I want to keep it entertaining, engaging, and just switching it up from just our basic tutorials all the time. So comment down below what kind of content you guys want to see from me. We're also going to be focusing a lot on short videos across all my platforms. So Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, I'm going to be doing a ton of content with shorter videos so if you guys want to see a little bit more behind the scenes and a ton of my just personal life type of content i'm going to be focusing a lot on that as well so i hope you guys enjoy the video we're going to be doing britney's nails a little bit of a love potion type of vibe perfect for valentine's day i hope you guys enjoy it i am so excited to be back now let's get right into it Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be back. First and foremost, I wanted to wish everyone a happy new year since I've been gone throughout that time. And I wish tons of blessings and tons of positive vibes into everyone's year so that we can accomplish goals that we have and our dreams come true in 2023. Now for today's video, we're gonna be doing Britney's nails as you guys can see. I feel like everyone already recognizes her hands by now and her beautiful stiletto shape that we always do on her nails. We're gonna be doing a fun, what she called potion nail design. Definitely very Britney vibes and I absolutely love the color combo that we're gonna be doing for today's set. So I'm definitely very excited to to share all of that with you guys and now let's get right into it i am starting off by removing her design i figured i would still include all of this because i know that it is very beneficial especially for beginner nail tech so we're going to start off with our e-file at 11 to 12,000 rpms i'm using about medium amount of pressure when i am doing this process and i'm only going to be removing that design top coat and all of those layers pretty much of gel that she has on her acrylic set and then at this point if she has any lifting which she pretty much did not we're going to be removing that um, prepping the nail and all that good stuff now this video is going to be a little bit different than what you guys are used to seeing on my channel I very rarely talk about my personal life ever really on my channel I don't think I talk about what goes on like behind the scenes and stuff like that during my lives. I know that's like pretty much the only time that I talk about it or in my vlogs, which I've been very neglected on. But I wanted to do this video just to kind of share with you guys what has been going on and the reason why I was gone for so long. So if you guys do not mind, I wanted to share a little bit of insight into my personal life in today's video just to kind of share awareness and just include you guys in everything that I've been going through. Now a huge thank you to everyone that supported my crazy adventures of doing a video a day for 25 days in the month of December. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of background as to why I did not fulfill that. I did get to 19 which made me extremely proud especially with having a crazy little toddler. But before I get into it we are going in with my mandrel bit sanding band at 4000 rpms quickly pushing back her cuticle and then going in and buffing off the shine then i'm going to be going in with a needle bit and once again if you guys have been following britney's nail journey we are not doing any cuticle work per her request now i went into the month of december finally with answers as to what has been going on with me and my health i've been talking about it a lot on my vlogs just because you guys ask questions and I, I don't know I feel like you guys are my friends at this point so I do try to share a lot in my lives and that is mainly where I talk about my personal life or anything that's going on in my personal life so if you guys have been following that and all of my conversations about my health on my lives I have been struggling with chronic pain in my hands 
my shoulders, my back, my head. I have had stomach issues. I've just had a lot of health issues going on that I haven't been able to get answers for the past four years. So I've been going back and forth with doctor's appointments, spending a crap load of money on these appointments and still getting no answers. Well, finally, December 1st, I got those answers answers i went to a specialist that was recommended to me by one of my neighbors so shout out to her but i finally was able to get answers as to what is going on with me so i went into december the month that i was extremely motivated to get a bunch of content out with not such great news so i think that put such a damper on the motivation on just everything that i had planned for that month now I am going in and priming her nails with the acrylic primer from Kiara Sky. This has been my go-to. It's really, really good. The texture is really different from any primer that really anyone has used. Unless you use like a rubber base or anything like that. But this one is definitely more of a gel consistency. Just let it air dry. Once you're done with the second hand, it should be good to go. But I'm just kind of focusing on that natural nail portion. And then we're going to be going in with the fill with the same color that she's been rocking for a good minute. I finally found my Kiara Sky color. So I'll leave that link down below as well but this color is so so pretty and i feel like it looks really really good on her skin tone i am going in with this beautiful pink glitter from profiles backstage i absolutely adore it we're gonna be going right on top of the set that she has adding a little bit of extra thickness with this glitter but because she gets her nails so long the thickness is absolutely okay and i'm just applying that with clear acrylic and then we're going in with the fill using the Kiara Sky Monomer and the Not Polished Brush in a size 12. Now, out of all the tests that I've taken, I took one a few months back and December 1st, 2022, I got diagnosed with Lyme disease. So you can imagine the damper I put in my videos, my planning of videos that I had in December. So if you guys have any knowledge of what Lyme disease is, it's pretty much not believed in here in the United States, you originally contract it through a tick. So being that I have never really been in contact with, I didn't even know what a tick was. I asked my doctor and she did mention that you can actually contract Lyme disease through a mosquito and a spider and stuff like that. So if I had to guess, I definitely got it through a mosquito bite because your girl gets attacked every time I go outside. So if you guys are wanting to know a little bit more about it, you guys are more than welcome to kind of search it up. But to not bore you guys with all the details, it's pretty much just a chronic illness you cannot fully get rid of. You can put the symptoms into remission, but unfortunately I can in the future have flare-ups again without pretty much warning. So as of right now, I am taking tons of medication to put those symptoms into remission. And as you can imagine, that pretty much just put a damper into my month of December. It was really hard. I didn't have time really to process it. It was work, 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 work. And I did put off the medication or starting the medication for a little bit just because I really, really wanted to get the videos and I really wanted to get through the 25 days. But unfortunately, my health comes first. So about a week or so into the month of December, I decided it was time to start my medications. And it was going very well for the first few weeks until I added in my third medication. So right now I'm taking like four or five, but the third one was really the one that like hit me hard. So I took a few days off and I tried to get, you know, back that like health in full swing. It was really, really hard. And so when I decided, you know, to kind of just give up and let my, my body time to heal and fully focus on healing, I ended up taking a week off and I told myself that I was going to take a week off as a reward of doing so many videos. Well, <laughs> my body said otherwise. So I've been gone for a few weeks now and it was not my choice. I wish I was out there somewhere vacationing, having a grand time, but you guys, I have had the worst time of my life on these medications from vomiting all day, um, very little eating, I was extremely weak. Like if you guys had seen me during that time, I pretty much looked as if I was dying. And I've just lost so much weight. I couldn't walk. I couldn't eat. I couldn't hold anything down. I'm literally bones and skin right now. I've lost so much weight. 
and it was just really really hard sergio has taken over really everything in our lives the business the kids the house the everything and including helping me you know kind of survive throughout this struggle making sure that i'm trying to at least eat taking care of myself taking my medications and finally i just couldn't take it anymore i contacted my doctor she gave me a few days off I, as I'm recording this, have officially started back on my medication, but she did allow me a few days off of it, and I've been working towards getting my strength back. I can eat a little bit better now. I can walk now. It, it was the scariest thing. If I needed to use the restroom, I needed to walk a few steps, sit down, walk another few steps. I could not physically hold myself up, so... Just to give you guys a little visualization of the struggle that I was going through. And I'm not saying it for you guys to feel bad for me. That's not what I'm intending. I just kind of want to let you guys know and kind of vent a little bit because it's been really, really hard on me, honestly. And Sergio's been a saint. He's taken over everything, like I said. I am really, really hoping and praying that this does not happen again and that I'm able to continue to take my medication without having to deal with that because when I say it was scary and the most heartbreaking thing to me was not being able to do anything for my children Camila is so attached to me and I literally could not even lift her so so I think like she just you know didn't comprehend mommy's not okay and it was hard it was hard just seeing my baby not be able to get mommy cuddles because I did not feel well so I'm hoping praying I'm trying to eat better um, if you guys can say a little prayer for me as well, I would really, really appreciate it. But we're going to get through this. I have full faith that this time around I will be okay and I am able to do tons more videos for you guys. I came into 2023 completely, like so 100% motivated and then life was like, uh-uh, sit down. So here we are i have so many plans for the, this year and i'm just hoping that we can get through it and i'm able to fulfill all of those goals that i made for myself so i went ahead and filed all the nails and everything we are going in with this absolutely beautiful opal gel polish from profiles backstage i added that as an accent so the set that we saw had white in it and i didn't want to add white in there just because i felt like there was two different shades of pink I don't know so I just went ahead and added this like milky white opalescent type of glitter gel polish to kind of give it a little bit of extra oomph and Brittany loved it so here we are doing that I'm adding that and then we're gonna be going into the light I am now going in with my frosting gel paint from Profiles Backstage and we're going to be doing drips. Now if you guys saw my video where my neon kind of splatter nails, I'm going to be pretty much doing that with the pigment. So here I'm using the frosting gel paint and then we're going to be going in with the Profiles Backstage neon pigments as well. She wanted a bright green and I don't have a bright, bright green like that in a gel paint so I figured I would just go ahead and use my pigments. And throughout the set, I'm going to be including that as well. Using my Not Polish Nail Art Brush for this, I absolutely adore their brushes. So definitely excited to be using that as well. Pretty much your basic drip, adding that. And then we're going to be curing it in the light and then dabbing on that pigment onto the tacky surface of the gel paint. And as you can see, I'm just taking my Not Polish brush for this. And it works so perfect. And it is like the perfect neon green. So yeah, feel free to ask any questions. Uh, thank you guys so much for checking up on me consistently. I've been looking at the messages, even though I wasn't able to respond or anything like that. I'm here, I'm okay, and I appreciate everyone that reached out to check on me. So moving forward, I really hope that I don't have to take another crazy break like that. I freaking missed doing videos and I am so excited to get back into it, into my normal routine, into my normal life. So for the pinky, we're going in with the little lens flare type of stars. We're going to do the white as well. And then I'm going to be doing the pigment again. And I know I don't show you guys like when I'm placing it in the light. But before I go in with the pigment, I always place it in the light for a full 60 seconds. And I'm kind of bouncing back and forth hand to hand. So um, once that's in the dryer, I'm kind of working on the other one as well. Now 
now for the opposite hand we're going to be going in with kind of like a ouija board type of vibe on the index finger so we're writing yes on top and then no on the bottom and i'll just kind of let you guys see all that process it's such a fun set i really thoroughly enjoyed doing it and just seeing everything come together and all the colors just go good together brought so much joy to my life so i really really like that i was able to do this set we're gonna be doing the little we're just gonna call it a heart because i don't like those type of vibes so we're doing a heart right here backwards and then i'm just gonna fill it with the pink this is frosting gel paint from profiles backstage as well and we're gonna be adding all the little details in that later now that we're done with the depressing venting session let me know what your goals are for 2023 i am gonna hold you guys to it so comment down below your new year's resolution your goals or whatever you got going on for 2023 and throughout the year i'm going to be checking up on you guys and then at the end of the year we're gonna circle back to this and see how many of us fulfilled those goals Again, we're kind of going back and forth from hand to hand so for the ring finger on this hand we're gonna be doing a evil eye I'm going to start off with my white base and then we're gonna be going in with the details as well on that just kind of infilling that ovally eyeball shape and then curing that in the light for a full minute once again while we work on the other hand now for this middle finger we're going to be doing a pair of eyeballs that at the end are kind of going to resemble boobs per my husband's dumb comments <laughs> and then i couldn't unsee it you guys and i'm pretty sure you guys are not going to be able to unsee it either but we're starting off with two circles that are white for the eyeballs and then once i'm done with that i'm going very quickly and outlining the heart on the index finger and then that way I can kind of cure everything at once. And mind you, this brush is double-ended. So as I'm working with white, I kind of just flip it over and I use the other side with black. I absolutely love it because it saves so much time from having to wipe the brush. And it also saves time from having to dirty another brush. So we love that for us. We definitely are able to use time a little bit more efficiently that way. Now we're adding all the black details on the evil eye. So we're going to be adding the outline, adding the lashes, and then I'm going to be taking the back end of my not polish acrylic brush or one of my acrylic brushes and using that kind of as a dotting tool because I don't have a ginormous dotting tool. I'm just going to go ahead and use that and kind of wiggle it around until I get the size of the pupil that I want. And then I'm going to kind of define the little edges with my actual bristles of my brush. So kind of a cool way to you do a larger dot without actually having a, a really big dotting tool. Now while that's in the light, we're gonna be going back to the other hand and adding drips to the eyeballs in pink. And then I'm going to also be outlining the eyeballs. Now she requested a green evil eye so I wanted to make sure that I got the exact same green color so all I did was take a gel brush and I used it because it's nice and thin and sturdy and I kind of put it in the area that I wanted to do the green and it worked so good I was scared that it was gonna kind of sprinkle everywhere and contaminate the rest of the white area but no I was able to just fully color in that little area and now we're outlining it with black and we have our beautiful cute little eye and then i'm coloring in also the little lens flare stars on the pinky adding some pink dots just to kind of tie everything together to the other set as well outlining our eyeballs with black kind of just adding in all the tiny little details that i need And 
and then these are supposed to be in the shape of like cherries so we're gonna do the little stems and then the leaf area as well I'm just doing the two stems kind of one thicker than the other and then I'm doing the little tiny details for the leaves and then we're gonna be infilling that with white and then painting the white part with that green pigment Now she did request a cauldron with green in it and bubbles. So that's exactly what we're doing. I'm starting out with the outline of the cauldron and then we're gonna be infilling all of that. And then we're gonna be adding the top part as well to kind of make it look like it is the top part of it. And I'm able to infill the rest of it with those green bubbles, that potion that's brewing up in there. And then as that is curing the light, we are working on the other hand again. I started off with a heart shape and we're gonna be doing like the potion bottle. So I'm kind of just infilling all of that with white, did the bottom base of it. And then I'm doing the tiny little details up top as well, curing that in the light, flipping back over to the other hand, infilling the cauldron with white. I'm pretty much doing all of the green details with my white base first. We're gonna cure that and then again we're gonna be pressing in that green pigment so i just started off with infilling it and then i started doing tiny little bubble dots and then i ended up adding little dripping effect kind of thing i felt like it would look a little bit cute if i did that and then i kind of just kept working with my imagination to see what little details would look good and then i added another little bubble kind of coming up from the top and then tiny ones switching over to the other hand doing our potion bottle green dusting that off and then we're going to be outlining all the details in black and then we're also going to be doing some smoke little effect with that same black gel paint and i pretty much just do that simply by adding some green paint in kind of like a swirled effect and then we're going to be using some young nail swipe or alcohol to fully smoke it out i guess you can call it like marbleize it and then again adding all those green little details as we are waiting for it to cure so i did actually wait until that was cured to do the smoke effect because i didn't want it to bleed into the rest of the design and smear it all and as you can see super super easy i'm just taking a brush with a little bit of that young nail swipe the other hand is fully done so we're just going to go ahead and top coat it finish the other hand top coat that but that pretty much concludes today's video let me know what you guys think down below we're also going to be wiping off that tacky layer do not forget once you are done curing it for 60 seconds i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you learned a ton i have missed you guys so so dearly so i'm so excited to be back and i'll see you guys in the next video mm -hmm.